Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dave. I'm here to help you build your own PC. So this is a Fantex 400A digital system that I built. And the video you're about to see is actually a snippet of a longer video of the complete build. So if you want to check that out, you can go to the link here. But for now, enjoy this little snippet for exactly what you're looking for. I hope you find it useful. If it is, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Okay, so on the back of the case now, we're going to route from the power supply unit, okay, we're going to take our main cable, our main power cable, and I'm going to run it up through the grommet here, okay, and on the other side, you see how it comes through, okay, comes through the grommet right here. Now this is your, mo your motherboard connector, okay, right there. And you see how the designation on there says motherboard, all right, so this is going to curl around and go on your motherboard connector right there. It just bends around and clicks right in, and you'll hear a click. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the CPU. So that's this guy right here, and it actually says CPU on it. You see that? I know it's probably pretty small over there. So we're going to route this to our CPU power which is up here in the top, plugs in right up here. So make sure that you guys are putting all the power into your motherboard. It's time to route the cable for the GPU. And that is this little six plus two pin controller. Just come right through the little grommet here, get enough length. So that way you're all set when you've got your graphics card to come in here just to swing around and power it up, okay? And you can tell that that's the deal because this little eight pin splits apart and becomes a six slash two pin. So very important to keep that in mind. The other thing too is, and again, this is all about cable management, okay? There are areas in here like this, this little guy right here, he's another fan header, okay? I'll turn this so you can see a little bit better. So this, this one right here, that guy's a little fan header, all right? So you don't want to have the cable in front of that because then you're going to block. So just think through your cable management when you pull stuff through, okay? So we're going to leave this here for now until we get our GPU in. And now we've got all these other cables, okay? Got all these other cables. What are we going to do with these? So the deal here is, rather than show you each individual thing about where's the header and what do I do to set it up, here's what you do. You get your manual. Turn to the point where it says internal connectors. Can you see that? Internal connectors. Now that gives you this whole list here of what's where, right? It gives you the schematic and it gives you what each thing does on your motherboard. So consult that, all right? Because once you have your internal connectors figured out, then you can figure out from the end of the connector what it says, right? and connect it. So you see uh, 12 through 16, you see how it says F panel, F audio? That's front, just so you know. Okay, so I'm gonna hook these up now. You consult your own manual, and then we'll come back when it's all routed, and we'll make sure that everything's in the right place, okay? And then we get to install our hard drives. But first, we route the power. Okay, so here we are with my schematic, the internal connectors, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect all three of these fans. So if we come back around here, you gotta find the cables for the fans, okay? And you tease all the stuff out because some of these cables are going to power, some of these cables are going to RGB, but these are the three actual fan, fan uh, pins right there. And they're all three pin. We're gonna run all of these through the grommet right here into the motherboard. And again, cable management, cable management, cable management. So we're going to come back and clean all this stuff up later. But for right now, I'm going to stick these guys through. You see them coming through there. And we're going to come around to the front. And so this is our main power. And then the three headers for the fans are right underneath the main power there. So the long one is going to fan number one. So we're going to foot, fit that up top, there we go, and then the medium one, number two, and again it's kind of foolproof, 
You got to make sure you line your connector up properly and it should just slide on. And if it doesn't, again, don't force it. Do not use the force, Luke. Okay, so those are in, nice and clean. And I'm actually going to pull up some of the slack on the medium and the long. So that we have a nice tidy cable management. Let me get one on here. Big into cable management. Okay. Nice and clean. Just double checking that those are all in nice and tight. Indeed they are. So we're good to go. Alright, so the next thing we've got is a motherboard digital RGB 3 pin. It's this guy right here. You see how it says motherboard RGB 3 pin. So on the schematic, if we look down here on the schematic, we look down here for LED, right? So there's the digital LED right there. So we're looking for number eight or number nine. And that means that that connector is right there at the top. So it's either, either eight or nine. And it's the LED C1, C2, and this is D LED. And I think this is D motherboard. D RGB. So that's digital, digital, digital. So we'll go for number nine, D LED, and that's right up there. Okay. So we'll stick it through the grommet, same as we did with the fan controllers. Now we'll look around the front. So there's our three pin that just came through the grommet. And up at the top, way up there, there's your Here's your three pin. You see how it has two offset and then one? You can look and see that it indeed has two offset and then one. So that's where we're gonna put it. You can see the header up there. Now we wanna put in our audio, our HD audio, there we go. And that's going to go in number 13. So if we look at our schematic, 13 is right over here. So bottom left of the motherboard. So this, there's our HD audio. And again, making sure that our cable management is as clean as it can be. And we're going to clean all this up later. We're going to stick this through the grommet, like so. And feed it in there, because it's probably going to go a ways. And we'll pick up the slack when we're done with that. Now we come back over to the front to where the motherboard is. We'll pick up our cable that we just pushed through and we'll locate our connector all the way here in the back of the case, well, front of the case, whatever, bottom corner where it says audio. You want to line it up, make sure the pins are right, make sure that you do it nice and even, push it straight in. And you're gonna hear a little click. There you go. So that's in there nice and tight, HD audio. Okay, so we're gonna come back with the cable and make sure that that runs nice and clean. Now remember, your GPU is gonna run in here, so you might wanna to continue to give this a little bit of slack until the graphics card comes in, and then we'll do all our cable management from there. All right, so the next three switches that we have are the power switch, the HD LED, and the reset switch. And all those are found on the front panel header. So connecting the power switch, the reset switch, the speaker, note the positive and negative pins before connecting the cables. It's really important you understand which is positive and which is negative. So turn it over and you see that little arrow right there? That's positive. Okay, so make sure that you follow the proper pin connections in your manual. It's going to save you so much time and effort. Okay, and sometimes they go in upside down, right side up, different pins, all that stuff. Seriously, this is like one of the main reasons why when you get to the end of your build, your computer won't turn on. Double check, positive to positive, negative to negative.
So in this case, our hard drive LED positives on the left, but look at the reset switch positives on the right. They're not all the same. So be real careful with how you put them in. Okay. So check it out. There's the arrow. So this goes in right side up like this, just under the power switch. Actually, just so we can see what we're doing, I'm going to remove the power switch. We'll put that in again after this is done. Sometimes these things are a little easier to put in outside of the case. So just keep that in mind. If you're building and you've got enough room, great. So there we have our reset switch next to the LED activity switch. And now we got to put our power switch back on. So there you have it. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Now, if you don't pay attention and you put these things in either the wrong hole, the wrong pin or the wrong polarity, you're going to get all the way to the end of your build. You're going to be so excited to turn it on and it's not going to turn on. And you're going to wonder what the heck happened just because it's not getting power from the switch. Now with these, they don't actually click in. You just push them in and they kind of hold on their own, which is kind of a drag because if something gets jostled and it comes out fairly easily, I think that's a, a flaw in the, in the motherboard making, or at least in the connector deal. But that's my opinion. On we go. So with our GPU cables, we're gonna move them out of the way because the next cable that we want to install is this guy, it's a USB 3, and this powers the USB ports up at the top of the case. So just like last time with these GPU cables, we're gonna thread our cable right through this lower grommet. You see that, the blue sticking through? So we'll bring this guy around and we'll stick this right into the USB 3.0 socket. We'll take a SATA cable from the back here that we've plugged into our power supply. No click, but that went in just nice. So that's coming from the power supply up through the SATA cable to the power button. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so now that all that stuff is in, we've got this last little bit. Like what the heck is all this stuff? And really, unless you're gonna be adding other RGB elements to your build, you don't need this. You can tuck this away. This little mail cable connects to your RGB stuff, other Fantex stuff that you want to program from your computer. We don't need it because I'm not going to be running a lot of RGB. Now you might. Me? Nope. So we'll tuck that away for now. We've got our SATA cables still back here, but those are going to go for the hard drives, which we will put in in a minute. All right, so now we've got this bad boy. And we're going to stick him in the PCIe slot right here, and that is an eight lane slot. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, baby. Awesome. It works. Ha <laughs> ha. We got it. This is so cool. All right. So that's in there. The LHI is in there. Doggone it. It works. This is so great. Okay. So now we've got to uh, we've got to add the power cables. Okay, click. There we are. I'm relatively happy at the moment. 